All right, welcome in everybody. So for this one, we are back in Arizona. We started a task. I always forget task, contract, whatever it's called. Um, we need to bring some portable rigs. So we just picked those up basically right at the base camp. Got to bring them all the way up here. So let's recover to here, I guess. Wait, what's the name of that? West Outpost is no. South. Field Operation, there we go. Went right past it. So, actually let me quick show you guys. We are 80% done here in Arizona. And 95 in Carpathians, 100 in Little Colorado. So we got just a, a you know, really small amount to do in Carpathians, a couple of random things, basically, uh, I think two tasks or contracts, three of the other, and then like one expedition and a couple of upgrades, so pretty much done in that one. Arizona here, we still got a little bit of work, so what I've been doing is I, I've mainly ran with the same three people, welcome in Lessons and Hell Killer, Killer, sorry. Uh, hello Blaine, welcome in as well. How are you guys doing today? Um, hello Tank Baby, welcome in as well. How are you doing today? So we got the same three people mostly that we've been using. And now we're going to try to use the other three people to hopefully open up tasks and contracts that we didn't previously have available for us to do. And I also came equipped this time with a metal detector because I've heard from Livonia that the metal detector can be something you need for certain missions. So I'm, maybe that's the ones that I can't do in Carpathia or haven't been able to figure out how to do in Carpathians yet. So I think the best, best scenario would be to roll with um, a truck with the seismic vibrator in case we get one of those and then a truck with the metal detector, in case we get one of those, and then use the three random people that we haven't been using, and that way we should almost cover all of our bases. The only the only thing we wouldn't be able to do is the three people that we actually were using before, if we happen to miss a mission or two, which we have, probably, so. Might have to go back once more, but um, I think we got a pretty good, pretty good handle on figuring out how to get the rest of this stuff done. So we're a total of 76% complete. You're doing good, Tink Baby. I'm also doing well, thank you. So yeah, we're back in the very first, very first map of the game here. We're on Grand Canyon. We're finishing off stuff we didn't, didn't do uh, early. We pretty much did all the expeditions and then I thought I finished all the stuff here, but uh, like I said, I found out later you have to have certain people equipped to do certain things, and so now we've equipped different people so we can do those other things that we did miss. But yeah, I thought I was done here. Hello, Robert. Welcome to the stream as well, Robert. How are you doing today? Robert said, hi, JJ. I hope you're doing okay, bud. I am doing good. Thank you. I think this is a pretty easy drive. I, again, this is the first map, so I think this probably will go fairly quick, because I think this is probably a little bit easier driving. You somehow managed to clean the apps on your phone from four pages all the way down to one. Oh, the notes app. Wait, clean the apps on my phone. Oh, okay, never mind. Just the just the amount of apps. That's pretty good. Just getting off work plane. Nice. Time to go home and relax. Kick back and relax. You're doing fine, Robert? That's good. Alright, second one is right in front of us here. Yellow Jello. Hey, Babo. You're like super early today. Alright, what did that give us? Spare wheel mounts on the rear. Wow, Pablo is early, yeah. Tank baby, really bro. Minimalist mindset, man. 
Okay, can't do that one. Wait, is that... Yeah, this is a seismic one, so we can't do that one yet. Uh, pick up supplies and bring them way down there. Where do we pick up the supplies at? Not here. Looks like it's not there as well. Is it this one? No, there's no trucks by there. Wait, let me leave it on this task. Maybe it's inside the circle. That's what it's looking like. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we got a closer one, maybe. That's in Sonoran. That's in Waweep. That is also Waweep. 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 Coconino. Coconino. So it looks like we might have done most of this stuff. We just needed one person, maybe? That's Coconino. Coconino. Jeez, we got a lot of stuff to do in Coconino now. Okay, let's check the... Here we go. Oh, this one was this one was not working earlier. I remember doing this one. This one, uh, we did try and do this. We have two light beacons here. So we have to find the equipment from this side and then deliver it over here. Which is a bummer, because we got a big truck. Let's see if we can use a smaller one. Yeah, let's use the 805. Wait, what is this? Oh, air delivery? Find an air airdrop to resupply optional. A little bit confused. Alright, well I guess we're really close, so let's let's go to this airdrop maybe. Wait, what is it? This has got dinosaur bones and set miles. Alright, never mind. Go to the west outpost. Alright, hello South Fang. <laughs> Take baby's like exactly, he's super early. Everything I need in one page. Oh no, maybe the exactly was for lessons uh, one page comment. I feel like these tires are a bit small for this area. I think most of the apps were stupid games you see on YouTube and TikTok and ads. That's funny. Pablo is stuck in a Tim Hortons in uh, Mont Laurier. Waiting for a company to uh, company to truck pick or waiting for a company truck to pick him up. Bring him four hours home after sitting <coughs> excuse me, after sitting here for three hours. Yikes. Doesn't sound good, Pablo. Well, I guess it's a good time to sit down and enjoy some YouTube, I guess. I don't know. Not much else you can do when you're sitting there, right? You'll learn, Tank Baby, you'll learn. Eventually you'll find out most of those games are not worth it, is what Lessons is saying, I think. Oh wait, uh... Never, I need to talk to a lot of people on Snapchat. Oh no, all you have to do is get rid of social media. Ah, okay, there we go. I was, I was missing a little part of it. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. I never checked. I checked my Discord yesterday, but I didn't check the uh, the section where you posted the currency. Kind of forgot about that till right now. So that's my bad. Really, I can't put this anywhere? Almost flipped straight over. Wait, this does not look... Oh yeah, I gotta go down the other way. I was doing the right thing, dang it. Got myself turned about. This company needs to get their crap together. Pabo is not impressed. 
yeah, I would not be impressed after a three hour wait and then a four hour uh, drive home once they pick you up. Actually, you know what? Let's just full send it off of here. No, actually, we don't have enough stuff. What we can do, though, is uh, throw out one of these. Um... So it looks as though my game just froze. Yep, application has stopped working. Okay, sorry guys. Tch. Unlucky timing. We haven't had a crash for quite a while. And that's, that's the second time we've had it sort of randomly crash. When I go to restaurants and sit at the bar, I always see these couples and families ignore each other for a, or ignore each other for a screen. When I'm outside with people, I rarely take out my phone. Pictures, the touch is far more valuable. Um, true, but it's not always available. Gotcha. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> nice, we got our, uh, we got our, uh, jack screw back. Yeah, I was gonna say, we could go back up and get the, um, we could go back up and get the other anchor points, but I don't know if we'll need those or not. I think I've, I've either been really lucky or it's, it's just a lot better on PC. I haven't had much issue with it crashing. Oh wow, we took a ton of damage there. Luckily for us, we have the add-on to uh, fix ourselves. We have like 600 plus repair points. Yeah, I think I've only had two random crashes. That's the second one. All the other ones have been uh, from the drone. Which I think that's been fixed. I could be wrong on that, but I just haven't been flying out as far. Yeah, this kind of stinks because I did our, I already did this uh, did this mission, but for some reason it wouldn't. Or I, I got all the way to the end point, but the, the cargo drone was another one that was freezing it. Oof, that was close. Almost went in the water. And yeah, the cargo drone wouldn't. It, would, it kept freezing my uh, my game, so I couldn't couldn't use it. What kind of interesting truck is this? This is the Tatra 805 Zing. Have you never seen this one? I don't know if you, you might not have this one. This is part of the Tatra pack. So this comes with the Tatra T813. The work cube, absolutely zero interesting. Maybe not that add-on? Oh, okay. Yeah, on SnowRunner you can have like a saddle low, I believe. Um, I know it can have a little fuel tanker. I think it has, an, it has a service add-on just like this. It actually says service the same way and stuff.
Looks like you're driving an ice cream truck around. It kind of does now that you say that. It kind of does. That's pretty funny. Right, now we got to drop these off. Actually, I think it's just one. If we're lucky, it's just one. If we're unlucky, we'll have to drive to multiple areas. You've had so much Tim Hortons you're shaking, that's not good. Wait, do I not have a light beacon? Oh my god, I brought the wrong truck. Are you serious? Oh, that's right, I, I recovered... God dang it. It was the force that had the light beacons, yeah. Oh, you know what? Here. We'll just... We'll just airdrop it. This is what didn't work last time, now hopefully it should work. Um, modules, cargo drone, uh, light beacons. There we go, we got a look where you're going, exterior stickers. Okay, how about this one? That's Waweep. Waweep. And Waweep. Okay, so I think everything is actually done here besides a seismic one. And this one. Alright, let's go do this one. This is the last one I think we have here. Hello, Bruno. Is 58 cups too much? Jeez. I would say so. Right, the AFIM's up there. Warthog. Now let's move this to the bottom outpost. South, here we go. And yeah, now we gotta go find some supplies. Actually, let's get rid of... Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Let's get rid of two things in here and two things in here. It says two supplies, so I just wanna make sure we have space for both of them. So now we should be good. No oh, shame on me then. Oh wait, pick up aid cargo. Hang on a second. Did I... That doesn't have anything. I think I'm good. Hang on, one more second. Yeah, it doesn't... It only shows here, so I think we're good. Let's go. Hopefully we're right. That's somewhere around 15.5 grams of caffeine, not milligrams. Holy crap. I thought I would get to see the rocket launch. Oh, maybe soon. I think, uh... Maybe I'm wrong, but... I think season 13 is right around the corner. So I'm kind of trying to finish this up. I know I've worked a little bit on SnowRunner here and there. But yeah, I, th I thought it might be tomorrow, but they still haven't really... I guess last week I said they hadn't gave us any, any sort of teaser images. But I guess now they've released one. So it could be tomorrow, but... I feel like it's probably still not done. They haven't said anything really. So I feel like it's probably not. But yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to just finish this so that once a new DLC comes out, we're completely caught up, have all the upgrades, everything's done. Might be too much, Dink. Did you mean 5 to 8 cups? 58 cups? I mean, even five cups, that's a lot of coffee. Five cups in a day? Maybe? I mean, still, I would say that's probably a lot, but... Maybe I'm, uh... In the, in the minority there. You won't be able to play PTS, but you're excited about the region. Uh, or excited about the region, what the region will be. And what the new trucks will be. Yeah, I'm really excited to see the new trucks. Because we have no idea what they will be. 
I mean, usually they give us kind of a, a... I shouldn't say usually, but they have given us kind of a glimpse at some of the trucks in the past. But so far, we have no idea. But to me, probably the most exciting thing is... The fact that they said all the scout trucks would be going to expeditions now, so... It should be more hauling class trucks all the next four seasons, which is... You know, probably the best news you can get. Really, I average eight cups a day? Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't drink coffee, but that seems like a ton of coffee to me. So again, maybe I'm in the wrong, but... Or, like I said, not the wrong, but the minority. There we go. Nice little path down. Oh yeah, no, insta-crap yourself. <laughs> I've had three cups since. I've been here two before 4 a.m. Oh, okay, so that's... That's a little bit more spread out. I can see doing two before 4 a.m. Like, you have one and then you're, you know... Maybe your, your cup's almost gone, you have, you know, top off and leave with another one. Um, and then the other, what'd you say, three cups since you've been there? That kind of makes sense, you're sitting at a... Uh, no, I'm forgetting the name of the place, a Tim Hortons. You have nothing to do. I probably would, I, I would say probably four would be the most that I would drink, but again, I'm not, a, I don't like coffee, so you couldn't convince me to drink four cups. Hello, Gordon. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Gordon? If it's throughout the day, then it's no problem, but if it's all caffeine at once, no go. I enjoy the speed feeling with all the caffeine shooting. My shooting hand is steady. That's funny. I really hope this is somewhere around here. If this is far away, that kind of stinks, but... What do you do? We had a lot to do in Coconino and Huawei, it looked like, so... We'll go to one of those two. Perfect. So we got to deliver supplies. Over to the plane. Nice. That is an easy one. Let's jump back to here. Coming all the way from St. Jerome. Thanks, Dad. All those decades later and breathing technique still works. Good, thanks. How's it going? Um, going pretty good. We completed one mission so far. I know we've only been going for a little bit here. I actually got to move this up since I my game crashed earlier. I got to move my uh, OBS a little bit because I had to move it to click back on my game. There we go. Um, yeah, the game, the game had crashed. It was only like I think my second time of uh, just having a random crash. But other than that, yeah, we completed one thing, working on the second. 1,000 milligrams, bro, did you see the future? <laughs> Blaine says he doesn't drink coffee anymore, he used to drink it all the time. Uh, how, like, do you, did you substitute it with something else, Blaine? Or you just kind of didn't see the need for it or whatever? Or you just didn't want the caffeine, maybe. I don't know. What's up, JJ and chat? Hello, Cools. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Cools? Like Jake, Rosa, and Captain. Or Captain Holt. Sorry, I didn't read the whole thing. 
You want to replace coffee with Siberian ginseng tea, but man, it is hard. Turn on that bird dog and burn some diesel, son. That was my uh, somewhat hillbilly accent. All right, delivered the supplies, delivered the spare parts. Oh, it popped up. I closed out of it so quick. You guys might be able to check the reward, but I, uh, yeah, went so quick I didn't even have a chance to read what it said. Okay. Let me just check one last time. So Sonoran. That's Waweep. Waweep. A lot of these we can't track. Waweep. Coconino. 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 Nothing. Okay, so a lot of, uh, mostly Coconino actually. So this is Waweep. That's Waweep. And that's Waweep. So Coconino or Wawi Bay? Let's go back. Return to headquarters. Uh, items sold 10,000, but we did 30,000 from one of the missions. 9,000 from air delivery and 13,000. I don't remember doing one of those, so okay, I'll take it. You got sick of it? Okay. It's a Brooklyn Nine-Nine reference. Wouldn't know it. All right, let's go Coconino. That seemed to have a lot of them. Okay, mechanic, logistician, manager. Let's go with the fem, a fem, not fem. All right, let's do that, that, four of those, three of those. We're trying to leave one space just in case we do need something. Let's change this force here. So what we're going to do is... Where's the uh, seismic vibrator? Oh, there it is. Seismic, can I have a small... You can, okay. Let's do small... I could either do fuel or sideboard. Let's do fuel. And then, let's go with the roof. Let's put the metal detector on there. So now we have both the seismic and the metal detector, plus fuel. I think that's going to be the, the way to go. And then... Actually, let's take one of them off again, leave an open spot. Throw in the Acteon here. We actually have all of the upgrades now for the Acteon. 45 out of 45. It took us a while, but... Actually, again, we'll take one of those off. Let's do two of those. Three of those. Lessons in Tank, where are you both from? They're both from Texas. Uh, tank moved to Louisiana. All right, let's go. Let's put one down here. Maybe let's do two. Let's do the force down there as well. We can always change it. Is there animals in this game other than birds and fish? Mm, I haven't seen any. The only ones I've seen are birds and fish. There are birds on trees like eagles sometimes, but... Um, the first one I click on is do a seismic in, in uh, the place we were just at because I didn't have the seismic at the time. Okay, that's not here. That's not here. That's in Waweep. Everything here is not... Okay, here we go. Found one. All right. Explore the mine entrance. Let's go with the fem. A fem. You got something against Texas, 3.3 miles from the border, says, oh my, um, Pablo, deep south Texas border. 
got some lessons. Uh, hello, Zeb. How are you doing today? Why is my... I was wondering why it was marked way over there. All right. Oh, Nathan talking about buffs for the Atom. Oh, really? Yeah, Cools Gaming is also from Texas. Don't be talking bad about Texas. That's kind of weird out of like... It says 27 viewers. Out of 27 of you watching, there's three people here from Texas. I know it's a big state, but it seems kind of weird. Hey JJ, how are you doing today? My dad's brother Lonnie is still in the hospital, just updated you yesterday. Well, hopefully he gets better, Brandon. Also, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Brandon? Let's skip some time. It's not that not that late, but let's move it back nice and bright. Best wishes, Brandon. Indeed, South Hang. Uh, feeling better today. And tasting a little bit more food, but not much. Well, welcome to the stream, Bad Boy Gamer. Uh, sounds like you're getting a little bit better. I was just going to ask you how you're doing, but obviously, like he's just said, you're getting a little better. Still not doing great, sounds like, but hopefully you feel better soon. Lesson says, besides nothing, a good bottle of whiskey and talks of good old days won't fix. I sure do miss the 80s. Alright, 300 meters that way. You're doing good, thanks for asking. Yeah, you're welcome. Glad to hear you're doing alright. I want season 13 to come out already so we can jump into that with the new Atom truck plus the probably two uh, season 13 trucks. Most Texans drive trucks and the majority I would say are 4x4s. So maybe that's why that's why you guys like the game, huh? Because you guys drive a lot of trucks and no one else does? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hopefully we can sneak by here. Let's deflate these. That should give us a little better balance. There we go. 92 GMC Sierra. Dang. Things as old as me. Texas has a lot of special trim packages for trucks too. Hmm. Didn't know that. All right, explore the mine entrance, though. Oh, nice, 2005 Sierra. Raised 12 inches sitting on 40s, that is nice. Oh, that's your truck, uh, Cools? I thought it was just a random truck. Portable rig. Okay, we gotta get a portable rig way out here. Or wait, pick up the portable rig way out there? Yikes. 
Well, I guess we do have one spot. What, uh... I was gonna say, what what truck did we grab? We grabbed the one with, uh... I forgot, range finders, okay. Actually, would it be worth it? No, it's probably still a long drive. You got a 1988 Forerunner. Hey, you guys got some old, old vehicles here. Old's not bad, it's just they're much older than I was expecting. Two hundred thirty-seven thousand four hundred eighty-six miles and still going. Nice. Those last forever as well. I'm not really sure where we're driving to, guys. We're just kind of drive and see where it takes us I guess but headed in the right general direction you try to avoid vehicles with advanced computers yeah that kind of makes sense technology can be nice but it can also be super annoying like if something were to break you know oh hey this this thing that used to cost you like 50 bucks to fix back in the 80s for a new part now you might have to pay a couple thousand dollars for it's some computer component that, you know, might make a whole system fail because this one thing, I don't know. Because everything's connected to that, you know, electronics. Uh, in a failsafe, sensors seem to cause more problems, yeah. Don't want to be driven all the way into a wall or a pond. Actually, let's fuel up quick. You can fix them yourself and save a lot of money. I think that goes for almost everything you are right on with that one. If you can troubleshoot it yourself and fix it yourself, you can save yourself a ton of money. Pretty much, like I said, pretty much anything across the board. Obviously it takes time, and time is money, but like you said, you're going to save yourself a lot more money by doing it yourself instead of paying someone else to do it. When everything comes crashing down, good old American muscle cars will rule. Just like Mad Max, if your uh, your vehicle fully equipped, so you know, got like thicker metal plates and stuff. That's why you learn to weld, and you have a welder. Nice. Yeah, we were just talking about this the other day. Someone someone in here was a welder. Uh, my, my dad went to welding school and so did my brother. Actually, my brother is a welder now. You kind of avoid any electric vehicle. So, uh, it sounds like everybody in here is not a Tesla owner. <laughs> With all their, uh, you know, fancy gadget, like, I think, uh, you know, even to reverse and stuff, like, you just you hit buttons on the computer, I'm pretty sure. I've never drove in a Tesla or anything, but that just doesn't seem right. Like, having so much of this stuff onto the screen, you know, like, it's almost, they, they tried to minimize it and take away, like, a lot of the buttons, but it's like, you put too much crap into the computer now, like, you know? I think a horn is in the computer, if I'm not wrong. I don't know. Don't know very much about them, I just... 
just talking. And actually, since you guys all live down in Texas, do you guys see a lot of cyber trucks driving around? I've never seen one of those yet. But of course, I live way up in Minnesota, so. Also, you know, mostly in the middle of nowhere. My brother is converting an MG Midget to a Tesla drive. You're a backyard mechanic? That's funny. Essentially 300 horsepower in a midget. Dang. We're just slowly bashing up our truck. One damage here, two damage there. Tire, suspension, engine. I still remember the first car my dad taught me to work on. Ford Galaxy with suicide doors. That's awesome. I've never even heard of a Ford Galaxy. I have no idea what that looks like. Alright, finally made it here. Driving all the way across the map. Okay, picked up the portable rig. Now we gotta drive it all the way back. I think for this we're just gonna recover. That's... Yeah, it's gonna be closer. Let's recover. And let's grab some fuel while we're at it. And actually, yeah, we're good on... Grab a couple of repair points, I guess. And skip some time just doing everything at once. Oh, it's like a Lincoln Continental. Okay. Uh, Jaren said 65. It's a big one. American Muscle all the way for me for, from Blaine. Heavy, 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 heavy car. Oh, you also live in Minnesota, Blaine. Nice, that's where I'm from. Do you live in Blaine, Minnesota? Because your name is Blaine? Just kidding. I don't live in Jordan, Minnesota, so... And that's my name, if you didn't know that. M uh, quite a few people in here did, but... I probably said it a dozen or so times on stream. Got another river crossing here. You're in Australia, Jaren. I know I do have a couple people from Australia who watch. Uh, not on the regular, because it's usually at an odd time. Like, isn't it super, super late there? Like, four in the morning or something right now? Roger's from Oregon. We also have Artem from Oregon. I don't remember where most people are from unless they're here, like, constantly for a couple of weeks. but I will certainly try to remember. What am I stuck on? Some rocks. Six twenty-seven a.m. Holy smokes, that's way too early. I was even... I mean, I thought it was be uh, earlier in the day even. I thought it was like 4 or 5 a.m. 6.30, yikes. This game is still single player only? Uh, yeah, it is still single player only. They're working on multiplayer, but it's not out yet, so... For now, single player, yep.
Yeah, let's deflate our tires. We're getting having a hard time to turn up this slope here. This, the uh, tires being deflated a little bit allows us to get a lot better grip and actually be able to turn on some of these hills. So we're going a little bit slow here. Whoa, big bump. Welcome to the stream, Rido. Hopefully I said your name right. Don't think I've ever seen you here before, so... How are you doing, Rido? Also sorry if I butcher your name because I'm famously or infamously bad at saying names. Hey! Do I own a truck IRL? I do not. I currently drive a Ford Fusion, so uh, kind of a mid-sized, you know, somewhat common, like, everyday vehicle, I guess you could say. Nothing, nothing special. Now we need canisters and gas. Oh, okay, that... I think there we go okay heavy bull bar bumper I was gonna say that wasn't working and then all of a sudden it just went so all right one thing down guys that took a long time actually let's put the parking brake on as well okay that's Grand Canyon can't track it can't Sonoran Waweep can't 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 here we go Waweep again Waweep It'd be kind of nice if you could narrow it down by uh, map so you wouldn't have to do this. It's actually a Prius. Come on, JJ. Okay, you got me. I own a Toyota Prius. I had to think about that. I'm like, what is it called? Okay, let's go back to here. That's not too far away. I own a Toyota Prius. You guys heard it here first. Actually, Priuses are all electric, aren't they? Or are those a hybrid? Those are hybrid, actually. As soon as I said that, I'm like, that was a dumb question. Because I'm like, Tesla is like the most popular full, uh, full electric vehicles, at least around here. Um, and so I was like, the Prius was popular a lot longer before that, but they're hybrid, so that's I had to think about it for a bit. The old hatchback, yeah. AJJ and Tat, chat. Hello, Derek. Hybrid, yeah, thanks, Tank. Figured that one out myself after a bit, but I appreciate you uh, replying, because otherwise I'd have been wondering for a while if I didn't figure it out myself. How does it feel compared to SnowRunner? The vehicles, in my opinion, drive so much better on this game than in SnowRunner. I think it... It's partly because they don't sink in as much. Because the physics of the SnowRunner game make it so that the the driving on normal flat ground, or maybe not even flat, but just like solid ground, everything is just weird. Like it just, it doesn't, doesn't feel right. So this game, I feel like it, they, they nailed it a lot better. The vehicles are, I've said it before, they're, they feel heavier. That might not be the right way to describe it. Uh, somebody else said less floaty, um, you know, less less suspension, less bouncy, stuff like that. They feel a lot more grounded, so... Um, yeah, as far as the actual, like, driving of the vehicles, I think it's a lot better than SnowRunner. But personally, I still do prefer playing SnowRunner over this. I just enjoy the delivery of cargo. Okay, we messed that up, didn't we? Oh, I can't go up that high. There we go. 
Yeah, so personally, I more I more like SnowRunner. I prefer SnowRunner, but they're both good. This is a good change, sort of a change of pace game. At least for me. Um, it's definitely not for everybody, because it, it is pretty repetitive. Oh boy. Let's just go down here. There we are. It's a lot of uh, driving around back and forth, but not delivering too much stuff. Uh, they do have some deliveries, as you can see here in our truck bed, we have three different things. Or no, I shouldn't say three different things, we have three things. Uh, the, this small bed is split into four four uh, possibilities, or whatever, four, four areas. Uh, the normal two-slot, or what would be considered a two-slot bed in SnowRunner, can actually have eight slots on this game. And then the Tatra Force can actually have a... It has a bigger frame. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm going to get out of this. Um, but I think that can only hold eight eight things max still. It can just have, uh, it can have like a four slot bed and four... Basically this is a sideboard bed. It has little sides. Um, you can have an eight slot sideboard and a four slot flatbed, which means you can put like a fuel tank on the flatbed. Or, um, a radar unit or like a service, like a fixing service unit sort of thing. Whoa. That's an interesting one. Okay, I know I missed quite a bit here. Um, I used to have this old school Honda Civic hatchback that would fly. Nice. You've got an MGHS Turbo. Do you have a V6 Fusion? I don't think so. I'm actually not sure. It's kind of funny because I like playing, like, if you guys look at a lot of my games that I've played, I play like Farming Simulator, I played like Gold Rush, uh, Ranch Simulator, uh, you know, SnowRunner, like a bunch of vehicle based games. But I'm actually not really that, that into vehicles like in real life. It's, I don't know, it's just kind of funny. I enjoy playing the games. I don't know, I guess, I, the way I think of it is like if you were like a truck driver for a living, I know a lot of people like to drive trucks in the game, but at the same time I feel like a lot of people would not like to go home and then play a truck driving game too, you know? So, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not super into vehicles. Alright, we've made it here, finally. I will use the toll roads here and hit 110. Holy smokes, lessons you are flying. Remember once I raced the sheriff in an interceptor? I think he was doing 80 or 90 in a Ford Mustang hatchback as well. Wow. Um, good times. That's funny. Okay, follow the route. What route? Now I gotta go way back here. Alright. We're gonna leave that truck here for now. Let's go to a different truck. Something that's closer. Acteon, here we go. I live in the deep mud of SnowRunner. Uh, being about to create massive tire ruts. Yeah. 89, okay. 89 sausage fingers. Since I'm Australian, I own a couple of GMC Holden Commodores. One is a 93 SS, a Turbo 88, a 63 UTE, I don't know if that's Ute or UTE, uh, and a 2013 one, nice. You raced a Camaro once while driving a V6, a Chevy Corsica, <laughs> that's funny. You smoked them with passengers, that's funny. Uh, 
Those were good engines back then. Ford Fusion has a three and a half inch EcoBoost, which is a V6. Okay, thanks, Stink Baby. Getting all kinds of knowledge. UTE means pickup? Okay. I wasn't sure if it was kind of like the, the name of the... Like the... Oh. Actually, no. We can use these. Maybe, maybe we can't. You have an 04 Blazer, ZR2, and an 09 WRX. Both are five speed manuals. Oh, nice. All right, yeah, we'll just use the jacks here. We'll save some time. Oh, there we go. My exhibition has the same engine, but with bigger turbos. Okay. Okay, we got that checkpoint. Where's the next one? Way out there? All right, let's recover. <laughs> I'm not messing around. Driving along the Ford will take your breath away. Really? I said that like the most unenthusiastic you could possibly say it. Not even trying to, I was just reading it. Once you owned a 2004 Cherokee with a six inch Rough country lift. Sitting on 35s, it was sweet. That does sound nice. You don't have a car, but your dream car would be a Dodge Charger. I like the Chargers and the Challengers. I like the old uh, old look of the Challengers. Like a, an, a late 60s, early 70s Challenger. I think those look awesome. Well before my time. You have to go, Blaine? All right, sounds good. Thanks for stopping in, Blaine. Have a good rest of your day, and hopefully see you again soon. Let's cross the river here. This hill's nice and easy here, but I know we have to go all the way down to the other outpost, I'm pretty sure, so. It's probably gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a drive. And it definitely gets harder on this this area. Nice. Close to here. Let's shut this truck off then. Hop in a different truck. Let's do the fours. Yeah, why not? Or Warthog. Warthog's close. Both close, but Warthog could probably be easier. Let's skip some time again. That was not how I planned on that going. I started to slip down the hill, and instead of trying to fight it, I was like, alright, let me just go down the hill then. And it didn't work.
Although again, we're, we're pretty much just going for maximum efficiency here. Like we're not, we're not really caring how much we gotta pay to, to recover or whatever. Actually, what are we at? 1.6 million dollars still? Yeah, we're pretty good. I've checked it like once every video or more, maybe multiple times, but the uh, the money hasn't seemed to gone up because I'm paying so much money for jack screws and stuff like that. I pay like 30, 40 grand and then I make 30 or 40. Hello Jordan and chat. Welcome Isaiah. How are you doing today? Alright, this looks like I could actually climb up right here. Okay. Throw one of these up here. And then let's deflate the tires quick. Maybe that's a little bit too steep. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. There we go. I've spoken by Dr. Disrespect. Um, it doesn't seem like we want to go up there, does it? Alright, let's try and move it further. Good you. Uh, I've noticed a lot of chassises or chassis flex in expeditions. I haven't really noticed it. I haven't been paying attention though, so you might be right. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's take this one out. There we go. But yeah, no, I haven't really been, been paying much attention, but... I think it probably has more than SnowRunner. SnowRunner barely has any. There's only a few trucks that seem to kind of flex a little bit. Frame flex, yeah. Oh man, this one's really making us work. Going all over the place. See, none of this looks like it's that steep, but when you go down and then down and down and down, you can't really get your balance very well. Hello and have fun, JJ. Thank you, Marty, for stopping in. I saw some of your comments. I just haven't had a chance to go and reply. I think I have two or three from you, Marty. Uh, sounds like everybody has owned or been around some pretty cool vehicles. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, on the list when people are naming them off, huh? Just checking, make sure you are being OSHA compliant. OSHA compliant. Or is that the NHTSA? What is it, the National Highway Traffic something or other? Although I don't, I wouldn't say we're on any highway, so the national highway <laughs> uh, rules probably wouldn't really apply. Wait, was it national highway NHT traffic safety administration? I think NHTSA. I had to think about that for a little bit. I think that's what it stands for. Google it, let me know if I'm right or wrong. Okay, no problem. Yeah, sorry, Marty. I saw him this morning, and then I just haven't got a chance to get around to uh, replying. I have a, I have one or two from other people as well. I usually, that's usually one of the first things I do is I get up and do reply to those, but I replied to a couple and then didn't have enough time before the stream started. So, I'll get to that after this. Usually there's not very many comments either, so it makes that a little bit easier. But I guess it's kind of a good thing, you know, 
The more comments you get. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. It means you're growing in size, right? So. Come on. Somewhere around here. Oh, right. There. Here we go. Oh, wow. I looked away. Hello, Gnome Power. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, Gnome. And Marty as well. Marty stopped in for a bit. My father had a Ford Gremlin. Uh, missing the manual shift boot, so I would pass... Pass out with exhaust fumes? Oh god. Uh, after a short drive, good times. Do you mean AMC Gremlin? Lessons, well, didn't you try to bribe him the other day? Let's see exhaust fumes. I never bribe, sir. Oh gosh, another one. Uh, it's about equidistant between both of our trucks. Let's just go with this one, I suppose. Unless there's lunch involved. All good, sir. Jaren said, I used to have a no shift boot so you could see the flash from my car shooting flames on the night drives. That's funny. Depends on what kind of lunch. What kind of lunch we talking here, Isaiah? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Four hundred meters. This is one of the few spots where it looks like there's actually a road. But of course we're not following it. Because our thing is off to the side of it. Seventy-six. I'm not sure how many things we've done so far, but it doesn't feel like we've done... We've, I don't feel like we've made very much progress today so far. But at the same time, it's kind of like what we did do, you know, X, Y, or Z. Like, I feel like, like the truck is moving pretty good across all the territory here, but it just doesn't feel like we've done much. I'm a person who is quite picky with my food, so don't screw it up. So it sounds like Isaiah's open to a bribe depending on the lunch. Okay, we got a new engine. As of AM8-1600. Alright, next one up here. Oh, I keep doing that one. Let's do... We gotta go down a little bit because these are all Waweep here. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Install camera traps. Let's see what truck has camera traps, if any. I don't think those are camera traps, right? I think this one's got them. Ah, oh, man, the one truck I didn't use. All right, well, let's let's switch to the, why is this part clear? I must have looked at it. Let's go back to the warthog. Let's uh, drop off fuel and camera traps when we get there. So let's go back the way we came, but then maybe up this. Drop that off, then go back. Actually, I lied. Let's go this way first, it looks like. Let's skip some more time. Liver, onions, tomatoes. Uh, it's still good to this day. An effing email. What? Uh, I'm a person... Oh, no, I read that. Uh, I just eat... I grew up too poor to be picky. Like my dad used to say, I made dinner, don't care if you like to eat it. Or, don't care if you like it, eat it. <laughs> Alright, let's fuel it up quick while we're sitting here. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, still waiting on an email. I think I told you I sent another one yesterday and haven't heard back from them. So, I don't know. I basically, I haven't heard back since... I'm trying to think when it was. I think I emailed them last Friday and didn't hear back for like eight days before that. I think the last time I heard from them was the 21st. So it's been a while. Come on. Hold the plate, I guess. Bring it back up. Not quite all the way, but partially. Twenty one. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that was the last time that I had received anything from them. I believe it was the 21st. I might have it wrong, but I could, I could get you the, the sure numbers. Oh no. Almost went backwards. Go, let's pump it all the way up. Oh, here we go. Someone was asking if there was other birds or other animals than just birds and fish. So there is eagles every once in a while. Trying to get a good view of it. Right here on the tree. Alright, now we need to drone in. Some modules, cargo drone, drop off, camera traps, and fuel. Oh, we're out of fuel already from there.
Okay. Camera trap number one. I don't even know how you say that. Pan Dolce Con Cafe. Uh, I think that's bread, right? Pan is like bread. Yeah, I mean, at least there's, there's something different, right? In SnowRunner, the birds just fly, you know, when you drive close to the... drive closer honk or whatever, but... Hopefully the safety inspector's not watching. Oh, are you serious? I already used up all my jack screws? Yikes. Oh, there we go. Alright, so I guess I gotta be careful with the jack screws, or not jack screws, careful with the driving because I don't have any jack screws. Sweet bread pastries with coffee, okay. I I kind of assumed that the, the uh, coffee was something, but I didn't know for sure, so. Alright, let's go down. Go down again. And let's throw out another anchor. Hmm. Oh boy. Safety inspector is still here, guys. Fully inflated. Some of these ones like this, it's like, can you can you climb up this without deflating? Looks like that one you you could. Other ones you're like, ah, I don't know about that. I probably should have turned left because I had marked out the path all the way to get there. I think this might might have been a mistake. Hello, Ricardo. Good evening. How are you doing, Ricardo? Welcome to the stream. That's the system telling you. Go get a little Mexican, or Mex, as he said. Uh, find yourself in. I don't even know how you say that. Abuelita? Something like that. Um, making food and sit down. Daily five pounds heavier. Oh, so I think it's like a Mexican restaurant, not a Mexican girl. Ah, I thought you were trying to say you'll find yourself a Mexican girl to cook you some food, but you're saying you're talking about Mexican restaurant here. With a to-go plate. My day was pretty good. How was yours, Ricardo? Hey, we got another eagle on this one. Nice. Only a short visit, unfortunately, but still have fun. See you next time, JJ. Well, thank you, Marty. I appreciate you stopping by, no matter how short or long. Have a good rest of your day as well, and I will talk to you again soon. Again, I'll get to your uh, your comments after the stream, so... For you, it'll be even sooner than most. <laughs> okay, while we... While we begin... This one's here. Portable Meteo Station. I don't think I have any of those with me right now. Oh, here we do. Uh, the AFIM. Way up there. Okay. I mean... Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay, let's go, I guess. Giggity. <laughs> I'm off finally. Haha, <laughs> that too. That would work. 
Well, uh, that's good you got a day off, Ricardo. Are you... Or, well, I know it's, it's what, like six hours later in Portugal? So it must be like nine, nine o'clock at night? Did you do anything fun on your day off? I wish the safety guy must be a little more lenient today. <laughs> he didn't say he docked my score, he just put up some eyeballs. Maybe he's saying, this one's free, watch your next one. I don't know, I don't know exactly what that means, but... Seems, seems like he might be a little bit more lenient. You're right, Derek. Because usually it's like an instant point dock, you know? 2100, so yeah, it is uh, 9, 9 p.m. there. We are flying across this little part here. There's a nice, nice road here. One of the few roads there are in the game. Well, it doesn't look like that's a good path to go. Maybe. Okay. Maybe the bribes paid off. We gave him a secret lunch. He said he's picky on his lunch, so we gave him a good secret lunch. Something that he would for sure like. Or maybe he's keeping track of them, adding them up at the end. Yeah, you might be right. Maybe he... Because he, before he said he updated my score for now. He didn't update this... Or he didn't tell me he updated the score, but he certainly could be updating it. Updating it in the background, giving me the final score, final result at the end. Who knows? Like down here where I live, uh, I've been the same, or it's been the same game warden for like 20 plus years and he doesn't even check anymore. <laughs> he just wants to know if you're having a barbecue. <laughs> That's hilarious. I know that the, the wild hogs are quite a problem down there, Lessons. Do you guys, is that what you normally eat when you have like brisket and stuff? Or is it something different? Ouch. Wait, there was a second location for this, wasn't there? I just thought about that. I'm like, wait, the other one, wasn't it way over there somewhere? We'll just keep driving. We usually have the kids uh, defeathering the birds and the wives, sisters prepping the pit. We're too fast. He just stopped. Oh, that's funny. Actually, let's see if we can go to the left. What kind of birds? Okay, climbed over that one. Is there a... Yeah, there's no spot to clear this rock slide, so this one just looks like a rough spot. Hogs can be hunted year-round, no permit, and brisket is beef. Oh, okay. I didn't know if there was different ways, different, uh, different briskets, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think we'll probably go left and then around. 
Dove and Whitwing, okay. I don't think I've ever heard of Whitwing, but... Doves, sure. Okay, portable meteo station. Wait, what? Oh my god, are you serious? I dropped the wrong truck again? How do I keep doing this? I thought I checked it. No, it has portable meteo stations in it. In the truck bed. Why isn't that allowing me? to deliver it though. That's odd. Let's check the other trucks. So that one's got, um, I forget what those are called. I don't know why it wouldn't allow me to deliver it. So yeah, these are range finders. But the uh, these right here, the cargo, are portable media stations. So why is it not letting me deliver them? I don't get that. White wing, okay. Still haven't heard of that. Maybe pull into the square all the way? Okay, good 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 idea. Let's see if that works. No, it's not working either. Hmm. Yeah, because it doesn't say I have to, like, pick them up from this one and drop them off here or something. It just says drop them both off. That's very odd. Move forward a bit? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. might be bugged or something. Forwards more? Yeah, I'm trying. I think those are the water data things. The meteor station is in the other truck. Yeah, you might be right. Let me... Actually, let's just bring out a drone. Here, that'll that'll tell us for sure, right? Um, you might be right. I might, might be thinking the wrong thing. Okay, that's the AFIM. Okay, so let's do outposts or modules. Drone. Yeah, these are hydro mo oh yeah, as this is the water one, you're right. So the meteo station's that one. You're right. Okay, let's get rid of those. Let's add those two. Good call. You have hydro stuff in your truck. Thank you for that, Ryan. I was a bit confused. I, I had the water uh, meteor station. Not the uh, portable one, I had the hydro one. Thanks for that, guys. Uh, hello, Mateo. How was your travels? I know you said you had a trip the other day. I don't think you were here yesterday, if I remember right. Oh, shoot, I didn't drop off fuel. Uh, 
Bummer. We might not make it there. Do you want to know what the score is? Oh boy. Had that happen a few times as well? Logged out and back in. Okay. You're correct, sir. Well, remember it. I was on a business and it was very good. Glad to hear that. Always nice that it uh, went well for you. How are you doing? How was yesterday's stream? Yesterday's stream was pretty productive. We, uh, actually, let's see here. We got to 95% in Carpathians. And I think today we were at 80, now we're at 86% here in um, Arizona. I was looking at the top, I'm like, finance, that's not the name of the map. So yeah, we're doing pretty good, making a lot of progress. We're actually, I gotta go back to that. How many upgrades we got left? We got four upgrades in Carpathians and nine more in Arizona. So, honestly, still kind of a lot. 13 upgrades when we're at, like, 95% or something. Or probably 90% in the total game completion. Because what was I again? Sorry, guys. Keep pausing it. 86 and 95. So we're probably at, like, 90% completion. we still got 13 upgrades to find. I probably shouldn't be going up here. Wait, do I, do I have? I do. Okay. I was checking to make sure if we had a jack screw or not. Because we might need it. Actually, is there an airdrop around? No, not really. <clears throat> Actually, there is one way over there. So it's saying my engine's just on enough that I can't use the jack screw. I need to stop buying semis, I'm at 5 right now. Dang, you rich. Tank Baby's talking about ATS, yes. Yeah, I wish I could have 5 semis IRL. I am so close, yeah, we're getting there. I think we got... Probably another stream or two. I mean, probably, I would say probably two, just to be safe, after this one. I feel like I could get it done in this one and one more, but like I said, just, oh, I just, ah, oh, man. All right, this one's too close to pass up. I gotta go get the fuel there, otherwise we might not make the mission. We used up all of our reserves of fuel, so... Should about fill us all the way up. A little bit extra. A couple spare parts. And yeah, sure, we'll take the anchors. I'll leave this stuff because I don't really need it. We'll fix a bridge that we've never fixed before. Seems like such a ris risky crossing. It seems like it's right on the edge, but it actually does have a little bit below it, so it's it's fine.
Well, do you guys think Season 13 PTS will be out tomorrow? What are you guys' thoughts? My, uh, my guess, like, two months ago was that it would be out last Friday. Obviously, that was wrong. Um, and then they said earlier this week, maybe by the end of the week, if all goes well. So, it could happen tomorrow. What do you guys think? You hope so, Zothang? I just, I want to see those, those new trucks. Like, I'm excited about the region, but... I don't know, the trucks are always fun because you can use the trucks in any region, right? To be honest, I just want full update release, yeah. Oh, looks like we've got another, uh... Another airdrop here. We could definitely use the fuel on this thing as well. Lessons you think next Tuesday would be, but it'd be sweet if it was tomorrow. Okay. They normally do it on Fridays, which is why I said last Friday. Let's take all the fuel out of here. And yeah, you got plenty of anchors. Any idea what trucks they are? Mm, no, not really. Um, usually they... Well, I, I keep saying usually, but I don't want to, you know, make it sound like they do it all the time. But occasionally, they will release kind of a sneak peek or a teaser of the of the season or the trucks or whatever. K kind of both, I guess. But uh, this time they released the main menu screen. But we haven't seen anything about the trucks, and somebody asked him the other day, and he said he's working from home because he just had a kid. So probably no no high-quality photos, but didn't rule out posting a photo, just no high-quality ones. Okay, what else do we got, guys? Let's see. That's in Waweep. I think all these are Waweep. Yeah, Waweep. Waweep, okay. Wait, do we really only have three... Um, Arizona tasks. We have five left to do, so we gotta find two more. Okay. Again, we gotta get under the Wawi ones. Don't know where they end. Okay, find lost portable meteo station. Oh, wow, we're... We're within the zone here. Oh, we're just outside it. Maybe there? For once, we might get lucky and we actually be close to the thing. But yeah, no, I checked this morning. Esarokan only replied to one person. And I don't remember what it was even, but it wasn't anything important, so... Nothing new from what I've seen. Actually, I should probably go to the left here and go down, huh? You reckon one of the trucks is going to be a Fawn Quarry Dump Truck? That would be cool. I don't know if they would... I don't think they're going to have loose cargo, so I, I'm assuming you're thinking, or maybe I'm wrong on this, but I'm assuming you're you're kind of putting it sort of more like the Season 2 rock trailer, where it's like a, uh, a static cargo, I guess. But like a, you know, quarry rocks you got to pull out, or dirt, or whatever it is that they're, they're digging. But that would be pretty cool, a new fawn truck. Let's take this. Where is it going? Back to here. Nice. I always love it when they got to go back to the base because you can just recover there. Outposts and gates. South outpost. Wait, no. Southwest. There we go. 
Hold. Store. Trade. Here we go. No, not trade. Um, oh, I must be zoned just to my side. Okay. That would be awesome. That would be cool. Let's drop this. No, not trade. There we go. Deliver supplies. 16,700. That was a pretty nice, easy one because we were really close. Let's go. Let's go from the bottom up. Seismic survey. Is that here? Let's uh, quickly change trucks, I suppose. It is here. Okay. Well, I hate these seismic ones, but I guess we got to do what we got to do. So we're 1,100, 1,200, and 1,400 meters away. Let me try and recover up here, see if this is closer to any of those. Probably not, but maybe. Uh, north, west. They're all about the same. So it's like all the way across here, it looks like. One of them's probably like... Yeah, one's probably like that, one's probably like that, and one's probably like that, something like that. Actually, they got further, didn't they? All three of them got further. So we're probably better off going from this base across and then up to the middle one and then up to the top one. Because actually, how, long, how far away is this? 1,800? Yeah, that's about right. All right, let's go back to this base. Um kind of cheese in it here, but again, we don't really care about the money. We have a lot of money. Uh, it could be boulders with chains around them so you can pick them up like normal cargo. That would be cool. I would certainly be down. I think it'd be really cool if they, if they found a use, like, there's a lot of trucks, you know, the, the Mac in real life has a dump truck. Um, I know the cats, both the 770G and 745C have dump add-ons, like, if they did want to go that route, like, you could drop, like, three rocks into a, a 770G trailer or, you know, something like that. That would be cool. I don't think they probably would, but... If they did do something like that, making those trucks more useful would be really cool. Hello, Ian. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Ian? Alright, I've had trouble climbing down this part a few times, so... I keep using the biggest truck possible for this thing, don't I? Oh wow, he just ran that tree right over. Oh, wait, no, maybe it's kind of, kind of putting up a fight. I thought we were just going to run it right over, it looked like. Now it looks like we might be stuck. I'm fine with that. We got down, so... That would make sense. Uh, just and just adding the add-on, the 745C 770G, which brings them some functionality. And it, it doesn't have to be those two. I just those were a couple that I know have you know dump truck add-ons in real life. Probably almost all those trucks are you know some have some kind of dump add-on in real life because they're just a lot of useful. Uh, and there's so many different trucks. You wonder if one of the new cargos could be conveyor belts. That, that'd be cool. Yeah, they did show off the conveyor belt there in the background, didn't they? Maybe uh, sections of conveyor belt that you gotta move around? Where do you think the, uh, the new region is? I 
I just, I personally, I don't think it's going to be any more Russia. So it could be USA or Canada, but it could be somewhere in Europe as well. I mean, it could be really anywhere, but I feel like those are the more, most likely options. USA, Canada, and Europe, just because those are the ones we've already got. Could also be Central Asia somewhere. Although I'm not, I don't think those countries are huge exporters on any of those things. And not that that really matters, but it probably would help to have a, a country that exports a lot. If that's what the season's based around, you know. Or even mines a lot. Good question, maybe Quebec? Yeah, I don't know. I, I really have no idea. Probably shouldn't just drive this right through here. Really. Vermont, maybe? I, I think that's the first time I've heard anybody say Vermont, but it's, it's a, always a possibility, right? Could be a diamond or gold mine in Africa. Yeah, that could be it. But you doubt it. I don't think it'll be a gold mine because they already did the kind of gold in Season 2 Yukon, the gold horse mining, you know? Although... If they did do gold, they already have gold cargo, so that would kind of work. They could maybe do what, what Mateo said and make the new cargo some rail sections. Or not rail sections, uh, conveyor belt sections. So you can bring the conveyor belt sections there and then maybe pick up gold and bring that back. You know, a cargo that they already have. It's a possibility. I don't think the region would be Africa, but I could see them doing gold mining. Or diamond mining. Coal mining, yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be like coal or iron or something like that. Maybe a marble quarry. That would be cool. Yeah, they're, they're famous in Italy for uh, the high-end marble, right? We can always hope. Yeah, you have many doubts. That would be really cool if you got big marble slabs, sort of like uh, the cement slabs or concrete slabs you get in the game. Yeah, like white ones with maybe some black or dark grayish marks going through them. Some marbling, I guess you could call it. Limestone for the UK. Uh, could be Quinest. Wait, what is this right here? What is this? Huh, okay. Uh, or Rebec in Europe. I never heard of that. Those must be big, really big mines or something. Special cargo could be one massive marble statue and a trailer. That would be really cool. Or just even huge, like massive uh, blocks of slab. You know, instead, instead of like a two slot cargo, they could make like a huge, like a six, seven, eight slot slab. So it'd be like a special trailer of, of uh, cargo. It wouldn't be like your normal, you know, maybe it's thicker and longer than the other ones. Some cool ideas, definitely. You love that idea? Yeah, that is really good. I did not... I wouldn't have thought of that one. I wouldn't have thought of the marble uh, mining either. The marble quarry. Like the rocket in Amir, yeah. Or four slot concrete pillars for a suspension bridge. That's a cool idea. And eight slot cables. 
Yeah, they could have, or they could have like big wheels of cable that are, I don't know, three slots, three slots, but they're like really tall or, you know, something like that. All right, we're at 250, 240. We're starting to get close here. Nice, we, la we, ma we landed. I couldn't talk there. I was going to say we made it or we landed, and I kept screwing up both of them. Say we should hire us as creative consultants, yeah. Yeah, I really like the marble idea. The marble, the statues, the... Oh no. The uh, big slabs. Coffee break. Sounds good. I think we're getting pretty close here. 192 meters. Fifty. We're getting there. I think it's right up in this uh, gap up here. There we go. I thought it'd be a little bit more forward, kind of right right between where all three of these meet. But okay, so now we got to go five hundred sixty meters. That's probably. Okay, that's pretty close. 600 something and then 900. Actually, let's check how, how far is this. 1100? Okay. Wait. Okay, so 600. Probably like that. 900. Something like that. Is he guys watching still? We could go left. That looks risky. Let's go right. We got the safety inspector here. We gotta take the safe route. Skip some time as well. Actually, let's fuel up. Fix the truck up. It's really cool this thing can have a ton of fuel. You know, all the fuel on the sides. You can have the seismic vibrator and the fuel tank. What about West Virginia? Well, hello, Nathan. What does West Virginia have? Are they a big mining state? I remember having to do a project for school way back in the day on West Virginia, but I don't remember a dang thing about it. This path is nice and wide. Last time we got our truck stuck, like, hitting every side thing. Mining, I believe, kind of like Pennsylvania back in the day. Okay. Good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you as well, Nathan. I got about an hour and a half through your, uh, your first As of Adam stream. And I fully watched your, I think it was your stream before that. I had a big old comment written out, you know, from watching the whole entire thing. And I, my phone battery is slowly dying is like, oh, 20% warning, 10%. Finally got to the end of the video with like, I don't know, 10 minutes left or something. And then my phone completely died and they lost the whole thing. I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm not putting a comment on that one. Good times. 
Hello, Bryce. Uh, it's going pretty good. We're we're still uh still trying to finish up. I got it, it's kind of all over the place, but um, let's do. Oops. We're at 95% in Carpathians, 87 in Arizona. We still got four upgrades in Carpathians and nine in Arizona. We got five more tasks in Arizona, two more in Carpathians, uh, 12 more contracts in Arizona, three in Carpathians, and then uh, this, this last expedition for me has been bugged. It's doesn't it won't detect the fish it's one of those ones where you have to put the cursor above the fish and you know basically allow the fish to swim into it i can see the fish and i can i can put out the the big circles but nothing happens after that it it, it doesn't detect the fish being inside the circle at all so it's a pretty big bummer i don't know i've seen somebody complete it on youtube so it it works for some people, I guess, but for me, it's just, I've tried it about eight times and it just doesn't work. I tried a bunch of different things. People have said, like, resetting my, my field of view or, you know, just going back to default settings and trying different times of day and stuff like that. And for, for some reason, for me, it just doesn't work. So. Hi, Nathan. Loved your video on the Atom. Yeah, that was a good review, actually. I also saw that, uh... After the stream yesterday, I watched that. Nice save there, by the way. Thank you. I get pretty bad when I'm trying to read chat all the time. I'm sure you, you totally understand. Alright, we're at 160. Actually, that, that mark up there might be pretty close. Um, I think Livonia, who was here earlier, said that they, they completed all 100% of the expeditions, so it worked for them. I can go try it again, but for, yeah, for the life of me, I cannot get it to work. Do you think uh, we'll see Season 13 tomorrow, Nathan, or do you think it'll be next week? I was thinking it would be tomorrow, but it's been so quiet, I don't think it will be. I think, uh, I mean, unless Sesserokin said something over the last couple of hours, but... Wait, we're getting further away now. It's up there. Hello, Kevin. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? All right, we're at 148, 147. Oh wait, we can. There's a bridge we gotta fix to get over there. That looks kind of tough. Okay. I'll try. You have a feeling it's gonna be tomorrow, but maybe that's too optimistic. Okay. Yeah, I said like two months ago that I thought it would be last Friday, last Friday in uh, March. And obviously that was wrong. But then I thought it might be this Friday, but it just seems like it's been really, really quiet. So maybe it is tomorrow. I'm hoping it is tomorrow. I'm really excited to see the new trucks. The region as well, but... Has Snow Under PTS been delayed? I guess you could say that, Ian. It was supposed to be... Well, I, sh I keep saying supposed to be, but I don't want to put words in Esserokin's mouth because I know it's not exactly what he said. He said he was hoping for the end of March. And obviously that... Or last week of March, but obviously that did not happen. And then he came out and said earlier this week, I think it might have been Monday, maybe it was Tuesday, he said hopefully by the end of this week. So... Yeah, hopefully tomorrow would be the end of this week, so hopefully tomorrow. Uh, he said if all goes well at the end of this week, I should mention that part as well. I think we're caught on that tree. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
What do you think of the Azov Adam? You're asking Nathan. He did make a review for it, Bryce. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out and get all of his uh, thoughts and opinions. Hello, Nathan from uh, uh, Blaine. You're playing Expedition now, Kevin. Nice. How's that going for you? Oh, wait. I only have five spare parts. I broke my truck up. Ah, bummer. I feel like it's got to be... Wait, no, that's only 70 meters away. Okay, it might be on the other side, actually. We might be in luck. Oh, crap. We might just have to climb down this, huh? Because that big bar in the back is stopping us from going up. Wait, um... throw out another winch point here. Oh, we are, we are totally stuck. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Not looking good though. There we go. All right, we made made it down safely. Nathan, you think it's gonna get buffed in the future, huh? I heard. Uh, I think it was Zing in here earlier who said you were talking about it getting buffed. Somebody somebody mentioned it. All right, 108. We're getting further away. I'm hoping it's not up there. Now we're getting closer. Playing the whole game with my son, that's my challenge. Oh wow, nice. It's a good, uh, good little bonding time. Alright, we're at 90. Let's see if this gets faster. 85, 84, 82. Definitely. Alright, might be might be lucky on this one. Yeah, so when I watched your review, Nathan, I didn't didn't think about it at the time. Or not I shouldn't say review, uh your live stream. Oh boy. Um so I had tested it on the on the hill on season 10 for a little bit. And I had, I used the stock tires, and I also used the Jats, I had two, two of them out there. And I flipped the one with, with the stock tires probably like five times. And I didn't flip the one with the Jats and didn't think about it until I was watching your, you test it on live. And I was like, hmm, you know, I think, I, it, I had to think about it and I was like, every single time that I flipped, I had the stock tires. So the Jats definitely improved stability, so... The uh, conditional, what you're talking about, you know, the add-ons and the tires, is definitely true. Um, it's, I think it's a good, good service truck. I think that was one thing you pointed out. It would be a good logging truck as well. Uh, the, the maintenance part has as many points as your normal maintenance add-on, the red and yellow one. Sorry, I'm trying to think where I gotta go here. Let's go right. Um, it has one, one less spare, and then like, I think it's like 900 more fuel or something. I can't remember how much fuel they carry. I think it's 1600, now it's 25. So it's got a lot more fuel, same spare parts, one less wheel, not a big deal. Uh, and then if you go versus the large one, I think it has 50 less spare parts. Uh, two less wheels, but it still has 500 more liters, which is cool. And honestly, if you're going to use it, 
uh, the because you can have the 2800 liter extended fuel tank but I wouldn't even use that to be honest because well I would probably use it I guess but if you're going to use that truck I would almost opt for the the, the special maintenance add-on because you're only losing 300 liters of fuel but you're gaining 300 repair points so I mean obviously sometimes you just want the fuel but I think I would probably rather have the combination just to have a little bit more flexibility Alright, we're in 120 here. You tell yourself with balance you felt. I, I can 100% agree with that one. Sorry, I mean the Don friggin' autocorrect hate kids. What? Ad as if Adam doesn't need a buff, it's strong enough for a DLC truck. Yeah, I think the Adam is a very strong truck. I think it's, I know Nathan also pointed this out, but it's its nice when trucks have a weakness. I Actually, Naked Dave said that. Um, it's always nice when they have a, a weakness. Because if every truck has a roof rack, if every truck has all-wheel drive, if every truck has diff lock, like, what's the point in using a bunch of other trucks? Like, you just, you know... It's good to have some variety. It's really good to have trucks that can't do everything. It's good to have trucks that don't have all-wheel drive, that don't have roof racks, because otherwise it just makes it boring. Uh, how did the hill pull go? We were able to make it up with three metal beams, so one on the truck and two behind, but that was unpacked. When we did it with packed, we made it most of the way up the hill, uh, but I, I basically just ran out of fuel at the end and kind of gave up, but I think given enough time and fuel, you probably could make it all the way up, which is kind of surprising. Alright, now we're getting them further away. Which way do we gotta go? This way? I think it's off to the side here. Yep, alright. Okay. Doing okay-ish on the safety score. Hidden. Nice. Oh, we found a gas station. Look at that. We got a new module. That's awesome. So I think we have actually... I think we might be done with everything here now. So that's Grand Canyon, can't track, can't track. Sonoran, Waweep, can't track, can't, can't. Waweep again, Waweep again, again. Oh, that's the same. That's the bottom one. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're completely done with Coco Nino as much as we can. We either can't track them, meaning we don't have the right personnel. Yep, all right. Let's go back. Oh, shoot. I was going to check how much money we made or lost, but... Um, yeah, we made it, I would say, probably like 80% of the way up the... Or maybe not 80, probably like 70%, because there's kind of like a, a hill, like... Right before you get to the top, there's kind of another crest, and it, it, it's at a less steep angle to go the rest of the way to the top. We were just a little bit under that crest. But yeah, I think if you gave it enough fuel and enough time, you probably could wiggle your way all the way up. But I, I, I think it took me like an hour and a half. I tested the, the base tires, the, the jet tires. We tested it uh, unpacked and packed, so we tested it quite a few different ways. You ran in Cosmo, it does good enough. Fuel consumption is amazing. Yeah, the fuel consumption is amazing. Alright, let's we'll try this last uh, last expedition. We'll see if it's still bugged for us. So it's called overall picture. And all I really gotta do is throw on one truck. And then just see if we can if we can make it there if it works or not. Um If it works, we'll quit out, grab more trucks. Actually, we need a media station and camera trap, so let's just throw, oops, throw on this one. Let's do that and that, so now we can start the mission, I believe. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we want to start on the east side. We'll just go down and see if those uh, fish are bugged. Uh, hey, JJ, remember when I said that I think the Azov Adam will be late, but it wasn't, which is super nice. Nice. That is good. So it's on the switch already.
Oops. And let's get rid of that. Let's put the marker. This is the one that's bugged right here. So this one you have to check for fish. And I did do part of this mission before, but um, obviously if I can't do this one specific part, there's no point in doing all the rest. So I've been just basically going to this one point and checking to see if it works, and then if it doesn't work, just abandoning it and going and doing something else. So this is probably my tenth time now trying to do this uh, expedition. Evening JJ and chat, hope everyone's doing okay. Welcome to the stream, Steven. Also Artem, welcome to the stream. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, the R is like a, a super good vehicle in this game. I don't know if you got that far, Nathan. I know you played it like three or four times probably, so... The R has a huge roof rack, side racks, back racks. It's got nice tires. I don't know if you can see these very well with the stuff. Yeah, it's got some really nice tires and stuff. Probably my favorite scout on this uh, this game. Nathan, do you know that I play a Nintendo Switch? She probably doesn't. Bryce, do you watch Nathan's content or no? You doing good, Artem? Glad to hear that. The yard looks wild. It's definitely crazy. It can go through like everything. But uh, honestly, I prefer I prefer using the uh, just just from my experience of like you know doing a bunch of random stuff on here. I think you're you're better off going with the Warthog, the Acteon, and the AFIM because those trucks can have uh, autonomous winches and they can also have truck beds, so you can pick up and drop off anything that you need. Uh, you can have you can have the internal storage, but you also have the external storage. And then so you, you pair that with the autonomous winch. Oh crap, I went the wrong way here. And it, they're just, in my opinion, those are the best um, best vehicles to get stuff done. So. I thought I grabbed the tree, I grabbed a little bush and so it didn't spin me like I was hoping. How do you buy more fuel in this game? You you either have to buy it right at the start, Kevin, before you go on an expedition. You can put it in your truck bed, or you can put add-ons like this that have uh, spare fuel on it. If you don't do that, you can buy a drone, which I'll, uh, if you go over to one of your um, home bases or whatever you want to call them, an outpost, they'll have these little icons. You can build modules there. Actually, let's see, because... Uh, Give me one second. I was going to check what this gas station looks like. So here we are. Oh no, do I have two of them here? I do. Okay, well let's just get rid of one. I never use this one anyways. Okay. Um, so we can click sell. Uh, we'll lose $2,000 on the sale, but that's fine. So if you pull up to one of these squares, you can click Building Modules. And then you can go to a gas station, which I just unlocked this one. Or you, what I would probably do, the most useful one, is the drone, which I have over there. You can't really see it, but there's a big drone parked right here. That drone can drop you off fuel anywhere on the map. It can also drop off other stuff, but... All right, so this uh, fuel station costs 50,000 and it has 1,200 liters of fuel. That is awesome. Oh, it's tiny. That's hilarious. But uh, now, what I th I'm, I'm just thinking of this off the top of my head. Uh, I can use that drone. Normally you can use it three times throughout a map and then it runs out of fuel. Now if you leave a truck here, I have a fuel station. I can drop off 1,200 liters of fuel over here and then... Run, I can run the drone 12 more times. So basically you have infinite if you do it that way. Not infinite, but, uh, you know, more than you probably need. 
Yeah, 288,000 for the Femme. For Torque. I don't know why that number sticks in my head, but... 288. And the, uh... The Atom is 235, so... Pretty good. I think Nathan said it was 7th. Pretty good amount of Torque there. Ouch. JJ, what do you think of the Acteon in Expeditions? I don't mind it. I think the Acteon, Warthog, and AFIM are the most useful trucks in here. But I would say the Acteon is probably the worst of the three. It seems kind of tippy. Not tippy, but like... I don't know, I guess the other ones just seem better. Okay, so we have to track fish. I don't know if you can see this. They're not... They're not really very clear. I can see there's one right here. Another one right here, another one right here. They're really tough to see for you guys. Actually, let me see if I can brighten this up. I think I have it all the way bright. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Now, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the fish or not, but there's, like, one right, right above here. Right above my cursor. So, yeah, it doesn't show them in the zone at all, even though there's two of them probably right in there. Now they're out here. Yeah, I have like five fish in, in the within that zone. So for some reason for me, no matter where I scan, the fish just don't they just they don't don't scan the fish, I guess. So, yeah. People were saying I was clicking too fast and like not giving the fish time to f go into the zones and it's like I wasn't using I tried not using the fourth one just to give them time how can you see that yeah it, it's there's there's no fish I mean you can see them if you go into the camera let's go to this you can see the fish right here but when I when I use them the the, uh, the mode it just doesn't detect them at all so yeah this this expedition is just shot for me, anyways. I don't know why. For other people, maybe it works, but for me, it just does not work. Yeah, you're welcome for the explanation, Kevin. Um, Nathan, when do you stream? Early mornings, sadly. <laughs> yeah, Nathan, I saw you were on at like 4 this morning with uh, Esarokin. Oops, I gotta turn my brightness back down. It's way too high. Let's go to... Wait, Coco Nino was the one we were just in. Let's go to Waweep. There was a bunch we had to do there. Definitely an odd bug. Yeah, I have yet to report it, but I gotta do that. Because it is very annoying. <laughs> Having 37 out, or 36 out of 37 is just like, really? Just let me do the last one. I've tried restarting it about 10 times, Kevin, yeah. It just doesn't seem to work for me. Yeah, we'll just throw on the R again. I'm using the, the people that I don't normally use to try and get missions that aren't normally available. Actually, no, I gotta put on the... Uh, the Tatra Force, because I have the... Uh, the Metal Detector and the Seismic Vibrator on here. So we're trying to get all of the missions knocked out if we can. Sorry, it's really bright, guys. I forgot what I'm going to use here. Uh, animal one. Animal one and lights. Okay, let's do... That. And the force should be able to go... With... This. Alright, JJ. Uh, time to get dinner ready. Definitely going to make a point to stop by more. Thanks for the stream, my friend. Yeah, you're welcome, Nathan. Thanks for stopping by. And have a good rest of your night. Hopefully you have a good dinner. I'm sure you will. Are you clicking restart hard enough? Maybe not. Maybe that's the issue. Oh, that's that's 5 a.m. for you, uh, Artem. 
Mateo, you're back. Hey, it's Nate. Yeah, Nate's just leaving. He, he got here, uh, just a bit too late. Okay, I gotta turn that, that brightness way back down. It's way too bright. Okay, let's see, what can we do here? Seismic, that's Grand Canyon. Oh, this one's here, another seismic survey. Oh boy. <coughs> Gigi's gonna rage quit because of the expeditions bug, I bet. Previet Artem. There we go. Uh, the bug that just doesn't allow me to detect the fish. It just doesn't, uh, doesn't work for me. Tank, I got home early. Don't do this. Alright, let's, let's try and guess. Let's see. 750 meters. Let's go north a bit. Let's see. Or south a bit, I guess. Alright, the first one looks like it is to the south. So that's good. You mean the big salmons? Yeah. That's the one. Oh my goodness! Hello! Landed right on the front. Double bounced. Okay. Uh, that's one way to spawn in, isn't it? But you guys didn't expect that one. I've never seen that. Flying like a hundred feet in the air. Anyone want to go fishing? Oh, my dad. My dad loves fishing. He'd take you up on that. Let's go bowling. Bowling's fun. Fishing is fun as well. Do a backflip. He did a backflip. <laughs> yeah, he landed right on his nose. Now, JJ, did that help you? It certainly did. It brought the entertainment level up. That was definitely worth it. You're curious? Definitely. 100% that was helpful. Have you got your pilot license? I don't know, if they saw me they'd probably take my pilot license away. Alright, how far... wait. Okay, I can probably just go off the edge up here. Uh, 410, we're getting further away. JJ, I remember that conversation. What conversation? I don't... Fifty, forty, thirty. Yeah. Low altitude warning. Lights, lights are flashing. Things are beeping. The instruments are going, going nuts. The OSHA inspector is still here, guys. Well, hey, that one doesn't count, though, right? I mean, the game just threw my truck up in the air. Just, just don't watch the part where I... I drove it off the edge first. Okay, let's see. What is 360... Okay, that's about right there. Okay. We can follow the edge, then we don't have to go around that way. Now are you outdoorsy? Terrain pull up! Yeah. See, here I do everything. Uh, you know what, pal? I love mountain biking, running... Did I just run through a zone? I didn't even pay attention. Uh... 
Hiking, rock climbing, and skiing. Nice. Ski or snowboard, Artem? You did what? I might have drove off a cliff. Might have. But it was for science. We had to see how it would impact the truck. So that's excusable, right? Wait, it's getting larger. We're getting further away. It's definitely back here. 296. Yeah, it's like right there. All right. It's a shame. The penalty is shame. What is the penalty for recovering your vehicle? Um, you have your you have a one recovery for free. So let's see if I can. I'll go to uh, outposts and gates. If I go to uh, north outpost here, my first one is free. And then after that, it depends on the value of your truck. Or not the value, uh, what truck you have. So this truck is 5,000 to recover it. There's a person that you can equip that gives you a second one for free. So you have the first one for free on every map. Then you get a second one for free. Or maybe every expedition, I should say. Then if you have the right person, you get a second one free. There is a module, which is uh, expanded parking. That gives you 50% off on all the rest of them after that. And then there's another module called the tow truck. And if you get that, I think all of them are free. If you have that module on that map. So, there's a couple of pretty good ones. I need to get a car and then a snowboard to go snowboarding. <laughs> Sounds like you got some work to do. Alright, we got 160-ish meters. Thank you for explaining. You're welcome, Kevin, as always. Glad to help you out. You got any more questions, let me know. Is the pug good? I'd say it's decent. It's uh, it's kind of slow and it doesn't really have much uh, in terms of like suspension. It doesn't it doesn't climb over stuff as well as you might hope. I guess I would say it's kind of rigid. It doesn't doesn't quite flex a lot or whatever. Oh wow, we're at 35 meters. 30. Okay, we're going up. So you're telling me you sent your truck flying? I drove off a cliff and then I reset my truck. And when I reset it, it it sent my truck flying, yes. Oh no. Hopefully the safety inspector is not watching or listening. Come on, where's the, there we go. Oops, 17.1. Uh, 17.9, Okay, it's gotta be this way then. 24, 22, 18, 14, 12, bam. Uh-huh. What percentage are we at? Wait, it didn't work? We rolled back too much, it said nope. Okay, we are at 88% in Arizona, 95 in Carpathians. So we didn't make any progress in Carpathians yet today. And don't plan to. All right, let's... Okay, 1,400 and 900, let's recover. Actually, let's recover way up here. Let's see if this helps at all. 
Nine hundred. Nope, we're further away from both. Okay, let's go back to this one then. Outposts. East outpost. There we go. Alright, let's uh, trade. Let me get... Actually, let's see. Is there any airdrops nearby with, like, jack screws or anything? Climb? No. Climb. Climb. Doesn't look like it. Climb. So that one's got double jack screws. That one's pretty far away, but we might go to that. I mean, it's probably close to where we're going anyways, as far as the distance. It's, uh, 600-something meters. Actually, no. I just realized I'm, it's probably, like, way out here. It's probably, like, here and then up here or something crazy, because this was further away. Crap. Um... Whatever, I guess. Alright, let me see. If we go this way, is it getting closer? 953, 951. Oh no, they both are! I messed up big time, guys. So you hope the safety inspector didn't see that you flipped your truck over. Uh, ever notice that in Snowrunner, the objective cargo find appears on minimap? Metal detectors, relatively useless. Yeah. I think, uh, Mateo, the... So this, this is my thoughts, right? And I could be wrong, but if you look at the metal detector in Season 1, that's where you unlock that upgrade. The metal detector is an upgrade that you find in Season 1. And so any task that tells you to use a metal detector in my opinion, they, they made it so that you don't need it after Season 1. The reason that you don't need it is because they don't want to force people to buy Season 1 just to use the metal detector. You know what I mean? Because if they required it, a bunch of people would probably have to go out and buy Season 1. Because a lot of people probably don't have it. Most people probably do, but probably a lot of people don't have it. And that's kind of the same with the 770G trailer. People are saying they should add, you know, more more missions for that. But it's like, if you add more missions, you're forcing people to go back and buy Season 2 and go unlock that truck just to do those missions in Season 13 or 14 or whatever. So I think they, they kind of, with some of those things, they don't want to put it or can't really put it in the game. Or it would just make a lot of people mad, you know? So yeah, the metal detector, basically, it, it's useful in Season 1 to go find the armored cars and stuff, but after that, because everybody who has Season 1 can get the upgrade. Everyone who doesn't have it would have to buy it to then go get the upgrade to use it in Season 9 or 10 or whatever. Interesting perspective. Um, Alright, I gotta catch up here. When I first did Cola, my friend, the airplane parts in Amandra showed on the map for me. Really? And another friend, but not the host? That is weird. Crap, I went the wrong way again. Oh. So it does that a lot in multiplayer, okay. I didn't know that. I don't ever really play multiplayer, so that's all new to me. Thanks for the rep reply, Mateo. You rage quit twice. I was trying a new mod. I flipped very long winch. Just trying winching. Yesterday I log on again. Overload and flip. So you logged on yesterday. You rage quit. Logged on today thinking you're, you're good. 
and overload it again and rage quit again. It's kind of funny. Uh, South Fang, thanks for the intel. I didn't know that about multiplayer, just noticed that in my single player experience. Can't escape OSHA. Oh. Darn OSHA. Always gotta be putting in these rough rules. No Tuesday then yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, you're logging on again now? See if you can extend the rage quit streak. I'm just kidding. Hello, Snake. Welcome to the stream, Snake. How are you doing today? The Atom is just very tippy. Uh, try the Jat tires. I was talking about this with Nathan. I used it and flipped over like five times. But I was kind of, you know, messing around a little bit, but... Um, I had one with jat tires and one with stock, and the stock one kept flipping, and I didn't think about it until I watched Nathan's stream, because he equipped the jat tires, and I thought about it, I was like, wait a minute. Every time I flipped over, I had the stock tires on it. I wasn't using the jat tire, I wasn't using the one with the jat tires when I flipped. So, the, uh, I mean, obviously it doesn't make it unflippable, it's still pretty, you know, un, uh unstable at times truck but oh you're already using them which ones are you using the fours hello nick welcome to the stream how are you doing today nick you're using the fives okay I have no idea what this is. Look for tracks? Okay. Actually, you know what? We'll just do that anyways. I might abandon it, but I'm already here, right? What's the point in not doing it? Uh, hey JJ, what are your thoughts on the teaser for Season 13? I'm really hoping we can get dump truck body add-ons with this update. We were talking about that earlier. That would be really cool if we got some. I mentioned the, the Mac that has an, uh, a dump truck add-on in real life. And I know the Cat 745C and 770G, they both do. I don't personally think it'll happen. But I could be wrong and I'd like to be wrong. Because I think it'd be cool if we did get some dump truck add-ons. So I think you are in a mirror, a mirror, right? Yes. So I think he's in a mirror. Uh, the Adam flipped a few times with the chain tires as well. Okay. Don't take any damage for 30 seconds, and I'll give you an extra point. And you can keep the truck, or and you must keep the truck in motion. Yeah, we found that loophole last time, didn't we? Also, does does the timer start from when I read the? The, uh, the chat, or does it start from when you sent it? Because if it starts from when you sent it, I might be at 30 right now. Um, but yeah, I like the season 13. The, the picture is not the greatest quality, but I think it gave us a good view of how big that mine was. I know there's... a lot of them are reused. It's kind of the same, the same general mine. And then they might make a few tweaks here and there, but if you look at like the or the quarry, I guess I should say the quarry in Smithville Dam versus the quarry in uh, Quarry, Russia, Quarry Team near Russia, they look identical. Um, also, if you look at some of the other mines, they do look different. So there's a couple of them, like uh, the mine in Wisconsin. Uh, 
I had to think about it. Black Badger Lake um, in the south part. That one looks a little different. That one's a little longer. There's another mine in season nine. That one has like a big, like, metal things in the back and stuff. So they have a few, like, things that make them a little bit different, but they're kind of more of a copy paste for the most part. But this one looks a lot bigger. So I'm interested to see, like, how big and how many they actually have. You know, if it, is it just one big mine that everyone's going to? I would assume so. So that might be the whole, you know, the biggest, the biggest mine in the whole area, and that, that's where most of the cargo is going. But yeah, who knows? Um, when I read it, okay. Uh, terrible joke. How does the truck see itself? It's looking in the mirror. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Most people wouldn't, wouldn't understand that joke, but everybody here probably does. That is a good one. Uh, this game is absolutely the nuts of every single way possible. Uh, I played this on PlayStation 5, and I have played SnowRunner for many years, but do you like this one better? Wow, we're getting pretty deep here. Or this game is absolutely nuts in every single way possible. Gotcha. I like the game. I personally like delivering cargo more. So I'm more of a SnowRunner player than an Expeditions player. And I think over time that'll bear out on the channel. That I, I definitely will play more SnowRunner than Expeditions. I mean, we already have a lot more SnowRunner videos than Expeditions, but it's been out for a lot longer. I do like it. It's a good change of pace. The trucks drive good. A lot of good stuff to like about the game. The tire deflation, the different um, push and pull mechanics, stuff like that. There's a lot of good stuff. And this is how I say Amir Amor. Okay. Uh, you just rammed into the atom. Face palm. Some people were saying there were trucks in the photo. I just saw an excavator, like what is already in the game as the map decoration. Yeah, I saw the excavator as well, Nick. I didn't see the trucks people were talking about. I have uh, Lightning Ninja in my Discord who is telling me there's he sees two trucks. He circled them, pointed out where exactly he thought they were. I don't see them. Maybe I'm blind. I just can't see them, so uh, I, I can I can kind of see an outline on the one that I could see maybe that would be a truck, but I still don't think it's a truck. I could be wrong. I just don't think so. I think it's just rocks that might kind of be in the formation or could be a formation of a truck, but definitely are not a truck in my opinion. <laughs> this is telling me to go up, but I think I want to go down. Maybe it's a bad mistake, we'll find out. 500 meters away? Hmm, okay, yeah, uh-huh. That's what Isaiah says. If I didn't watch JJ, I wouldn't understand the joke. Very romantic. Oh yeah, amour. Doesn't that mean, like, love or something in, uh... Uh, Spanish? Espanol? English, a mirror, word sounds similar to a mirror, which is something we can see ourselves in, yeah. <laughs> Having to explain the joke. Do you think they're keeping this secret, or this season, uh, more of a secret than the ones in the past? Well, part of the reason might be because the, the main person who gives us a lot of the information is actually working at home. They said they don't have their laptop. Um, so their, their images are from like a phone. Uh, but they had a, a baby girl recently. And that might be part of the part of the reason that, that you feel like there's less stuff. Because the main person who, who puts that stuff out there from uh, Saber is not... Both A, he doesn't have his laptop around. But a, uh, B, he's not at work. So... 
yeah, that might be part of the reason, or in my opinion, probably the main reason why. All right, guys, got to go later, everyone. Thanks, Take Baby, for stopping by. Please have a good rest of your night, and hopefully see you again soon. That makes sense to you. Yeah, I didn't know that until uh, I think it was yesterday he's, he mentioned it on uh, SnowRunner Discord. So I was thinking kind of the same thing. I was saying that I didn't know if, if it would be coming out tomorrow because it, it seems like it's very quiet this time. But maybe that's why. That could be, you know, could play a, a part in why. We're good. I flipped my truck back over. Nice. Good work. Oh, well, we're getting low on fuel. Good thing we have like 700 gallons. That's hilarious. Alright, we're officially under the 150 meter mark. Wait, is this an upgrade? Oh, I don't have the I don't have the uh, scanner module. I can't can't use it. JJ is still enjoying Expedoodle. Or does it feel a bit more like a chore at this point? I'm enjoying it less now, and I'll explain why. So there's missions in this game, or expeditions, I should say. No, no tasks and contracts, and the only way to do them is with certain add-ons. So some of them are seismic vibrator, like this one. This one, the name of it is seismic resistance, so this one might be a little bit more common sense. But they don't tell you that it needs a seismic vibrator. Other ones, apparently you need a metal detector. I haven't found any yet. I'm still... Oh, we passed it. It's got to be up here. I haven't found any that needed the metal detector that I didn't have it, but... There are a couple that I, I haven't been able to figure out how to do in Carpathians, and maybe those ones are ones that I would need it for. Wow, that was close. Um, and then there's, there's just the fact that some of the stuff is just so deep into the game. Like, I am... I think I already showed this, but I am... 95% done with uh, Carpathians. I still got to find four upgrades. We got two tasks, three contracts, one expedition. And then here in Arizona, we're 88%. So that's that's a really good percentage. Together, those two are, you know what, average out to like 92. Throw in this 100% here, maybe you get up to like 94%, 90, maybe 95, something like that. Um... Because this has a total of 12 things. This is like 200 plus, 200 plus. But, I, w I mean, to be this far done with the game and still have to find 9 and 4, that's 13 upgrades. It seems kind of crazy to me that, you know, stuff would be that far into the game that you, you know. Basically, every single thing you do gives you an upgrade in here. Alright, 53, 54. Are we going the wrong way? Oh, it's up there. Okay. But the main the main thing that I don't like is just the fact that... Uh, actually, this is what I didn't say yet. This is the other part of the, the first one there. Um, also, some of the missions, you have to have certain people with you. And they also don't tell you that. So, you might go into it. And I was using the same... The, the main three people. I call it the drone girl. The water guy. And there's a, a guy who adds... Uh, more jack screws. Those are the three that I've been using. But you can only uh, have have three people total with you. So, oh wow, it seems like we're getting really far from it now. Wow, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Okay. Wait, it's up. It's up there, isn't it? It's it's up here. I think I do have to go back through here to get up there. 118, let's go back. All right. Um, yeah, so, so the main thing I don't like is that it doesn't tell you if you need a seismic vibrator. It doesn't tell you if you need a metal detector. 
and then it doesn't tell you if you need different people to do the task. So let me see if I can find one here quick, just to just to show you, show you an example. So um, this one right here, looking for water. We need to find an oasis. It just doesn't allow me to track it. So I have no idea which person I would need to equip to do that one. And I find that quite annoying. I'm still having fun with the driving of the game, but yeah, the uh, the newness, the the initial like, oh, this is cool, fun, and new is kind of gone. So it's kind of it, it's kind of okay now. I kind of figured it would fade pretty quickly because it's so repetitive. I, I'm enjoying driving around quite a bit, but yeah, just those couple of things, the the people and the Another thing I wish they had, and this isn't, this is not uh, making the game like worse or whatever, but uh, I wish you could have like presets. You could, you could use a, a couple of preset trucks if you run the same trucks over and over with the same, uh, the same equipment. Because I keep having to add jack screws and I keep having to add uh, the anchors and then add, you know, medio stations and whatever. If you could sort of have a preset where you can select those trucks or even a, a like a preset like four selected trucks you can click this one or you could do this one like a scouting one or a big trucks one or whatever you want i think that'd be really nice but yeah i'm still having fun with the game it's just there's a couple of things now that i'm to the end of it i can't just drive in and do whatever i want i have to have certain things so i have to have certain people certain add-ons and it doesn't tell you which ones you need so it's kind of kind of been a pain lately. Alright, it's got to be up here, right? 25, 21, 18... There we go. Okay, uh, the recover unit on the Atom has much too long of a frame. General repair... Okay, so you think that one's too big? That's kind of nuts. Uh, the completed message is stuck on my screen. Any advice on how to get past it? Uh, maybe go back to the main menu. I don't know if you if if you if you completed one, maybe you'd lose some progress on some other stuff. I'm not sure. Are there any or and are any upgrades good, or is it like one upgrade isn't applied to most trucks now? Um, like, so I just unlocked one that was like a uh, a rear rear mount for one of my trucks. So it like would mean I could get more fuel or more tires. So there are some good ones that I still don't have that I'm unlocking. All right, 500 meters. I think it's, ooh, pretty close. That's where we must go. So yeah, there's definitely still some good upgrades that we don't have. I would say we have the majority. We got most of the engines. We got most of the, the rock crawler suspensions, all that kind of stuff, just because we, in general, have the majority of the upgrades. But there's still some good ones. I'm probably... I know I'm still missing an engine in one of the trucks. I think I'm still missing a rock crawler suspension in one. Um, I'm probably miss. I think I'm missing a gearbox in the Tatra 805. So there's a, a couple of random things that I'm still missing that would be nice to have, but I don't know where they are. They're just random upgrades I still haven't got to, so... It's just they have a lot of upgrades behind contracts, a lot behind tasks, and a lot behind expeditions. All right. Well, yeah, I, I don't, I don't dislike the game, but I don't like how they have certain things uh, set up. That's what I would say. Not telling you when you need a seismic vibrator is annoying. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. And then not the not knowing when you need the metal detector. This up here is the metal detector on the front of my truck right there. A little unit. Actually, here, let's see if I can use it quick and show you. Um, here we go, metal detector. Oh, I can't, I turned the truck off, that's why. Here we go. Cannot be used, why not? Maybe there's just nothing for me to find. I must have all the upgrades and stuff in the area. 
Um, finally got 100% on all maps of Snowrunner. Congratulations, Mandarin Orange. That's a good, good, uh, good feat. It takes a long time to do that, so good for you. I mean, even if you were to fly through with a bunch of mods, it's still going to take you a long time to do that, so. Nice arm, you're at 92%. Orange said you're almost there, you're getting there, yeah. Um, slow when it's not your favorite region, true. Yeah, some regions can be a little bit slower. Yeah, keep making new games. Oh. Um. And playing your, your favorite regions, that's funny. Bryce, you're at 6% total completion? Really? You must love to mess around. Oh, well, it's still a start. You'll get there. Yeah, you keep playing it. Eventually, you'll get there. You gotta start somewhere. Isaiah says, watching eyes. Grats from Salfang. Never used mods in my life. No, I, yeah, I wasn't. Sorry, I wasn't meaning you specifically. I'm just saying if anybody was to, like, a, you know, a random person, just say person A, if they were to just uh, pick a bunch of mods and you know, try and fly through it as quickly as they could. Um, it would still take quite a long time. Matthew said, JJ, any other... or any other upcoming games piquing your interest? Um, not really. I don't really follow a lot of the... Uh, the games anymore. I don't really pay attention to the news, like the, the upcoming this or that. Um, partly because I, I'm not working, I, I don't really want to spend much money on games if I, you know, don't have a disposable income, kind of. So yeah, that's the that's the main thing. But, uh, no, I still have tons of games that I, I have to go back and play. Like, I, I recently played through GTA 3, so I'm I'm more of the uh, I gotta play what I have while I oh I don't have a job kind of mindset. 56, 53. So to answer your question, no, there's there's absolutely nothing that I I'm looking at uh, right now. I have I haven't like I said I haven't even paid attention to it. So I guess that kind of helps with not wanting to spend money on it. But all right, we're still going down a little bit. I think it's back here. Be right back, more coffee needed. There we go. Aha, damage, whoops. Oh, so there, Matt just left, but we just found a high range gearbox for one of our trucks. Like, I have no idea what truck that's for, but, oh, there we go. Actually, yeah, personally, I'm hoping the Respawn, and Re Respawn Entertainment get a move on with the Titanfall 3, okay. Or Activision with GTA 6? Is it Activision doesn't help with GTA 6, do they? I mean, I know that's a Rockstar, Rockstar game. I don't think is Activision like under them or something. But actually, yeah, you're right. GTA 6 is the only game that I can think of that I'm actually like looking forward to or excited about right now. I love the Grand Theft Auto games, so can't go wrong with that. Okay, Grand Canyon can't track, can't. Oops, here we go. Sonoran. Uh, pile of metal. Pick up three metal and drop it off somewhere. Okay, we can get this one easy. It's pretty close. Oh, we gotta drop it off there. We're in this one. It's back behind us there. We still gotta go way up to that one. Let's go up here with maybe a truck from here. No, I'd probably be closer to go grab it. You're gonna get married by the time GTA 6 comes out. Well, congratulations on your marriage, Artem. Matt, do you work in an office? As far as I know, he does not. He works from... Well, wherever he wants to, I guess. I was gonna say works from home, but he does... He does go places. 
Um, I think he is a he's he's a entrepreneur. He he owns his own business, but it's still kind of just starting, I guess you could say. Just getting its feet off the ground. So he has to go places to be the boss man, make sure stuff gets done. Um, I got it wrong. Sorry, I know too many game companies. Okay, gotcha. I thought it was going to get a break from Star Order, but then Season 13. Uh, season 13 might come out this week. If not, it'll be early next week. I was going to say, I can make coffee for him when I'm working. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he would like that. Oh, here we go. Finally, we can get some more fuel and repair parts. Fuel we're not too worried about. Oh, no jack screws, though? Okay, let's grab the last 50, or as much as we can. There we go. Oh shoot, this part was tough to cross. I remember this now. I think I went I went right here and here and then here across up to here. Is that to start up an office or something? Uh Are you asking if Matt is starting up an office? Actually, let's just see. If we can go across here, we'll go with it. If not, then I guess we won't. Oh, wow. It's like almost the perfect depth. Nice. We were able to cross that. I didn't expect that to actually happen. I'm in year 11, doing my GCSE after this year. Oh, you're asking about GCSE, okay. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, here we go, so the, uh... The the light is going on the um, metal detector now, so we can use it. Here we go. And detect. It's kind of showing back behind us. It's showing the airdrop. That's why. Now you're just smart. Nice. Close to this one, anyways. I just remember at the last minute I do not have a jack screw. Maybe that was a bit... Nope. We're looking good. Okay. I was going to say maybe that was a bit too much, but no, I almost got it perfect, actually. I would say we nailed that uh, descent. Uh, OSHA, what do you think? Was that OSHA-approved descent? Okay, Matt's back. 
Uh, we just completed that seismic one, Matt. We got a, a high-range gearbox for one of our trucks. So, it's, you know, high range might not be that useful in here, but it's, it's kind of just saying, like, look at how many things there are, you know? Like, maybe that one's not super useful, but some people probably would run the high range. I don't know. There's just so many upgrades. Uh, it sucks to be up late working after a business trip, but it's nice to be watching JJ and chilling in the chat. Well, I appreciate that. It's kind of a bummer that you were here just a bit after Nathan was leaving. Like, Nathan said goodbye, and then you stopped in, like, right then. You were, you were like, I mean, you, you could have, you could have got him if you were here even, like, 30 seconds earlier, probably. But... Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Uh, the fact that you said it's just for one truck tells me about the biggest problem. Also, so it, it's it's just for one... Well, actually, I don't know if it's for one truck, to be honest. It doesn't tell you... So this is the biggest problem. It doesn't tell you which trucks it's for. You just unlock it. You have no idea what truck it's actually used for. So in my opinion, that's one of the biggest problems. You get all these upgrades, you have no idea what truck that was for. Like. I'd have to go check all my trucks to find out which one just got a high range. So that's another uh, big issue. Okay, let's see if we can maybe finesse our way up here. Let's uh, deflate the tires. That should help a little bit. Oh, I think Osha Man left. The one time I have a safe descent, Osha Man's not here to check it out. Actually, no, we can grab that. We don't need more uh, anchor points. It doesn't tell you that's just dumb. Yeah, it doesn't tell you. It says high range. It's, it's sort of like going to an upgrade in SnowRunner. And you, you pick up the upgrade, but instead of having the button to push to see the vehicle list, it just tells you the upgrade. It's like, oh cool, you got this, uh... I'll just use a... I'll use an example from the Cosmodrome for the Azov Atom. You'll be like, oh hey, you got the IMZ 17.0T engine. Congrats! But then you're like, well what... What freaking truck is this for? You have no idea. So... If you click view truck list, now it'll tell you it's for the Azov Atom, it's for the Tatra Phoenix, and it's for the Voron Grad. But if it didn't have that button, you would just say, oh, okay, great, now I gotta go check through 80 trucks to find out which truck this is for. So, yeah, that's another big issue. I think, I mean, it's all fixable stuff, but yeah, it's just, there's, there's little things that at the start of the game, they're not a big issue, but once you get way into it, then they, they sort of, uh, they become more of an issue because you're like, if you're upgrade hunt or you're hunting for certain upgrades, you have no idea what you're actually getting a lot of the time. Oh my goodness. And like, yeah, um, sometimes if you're just trying to do certain tasks towards the end, you have no idea what stuff you're supposed to be bringing. So I'm just bringing everything. I'm bringing the seismic vibrator. I'm bringing a metal detector up on the top of my truck. Just trying to co cover all the bases. Whoa there. I was going to turn on Steam, or on the stream on my laptop instead. It's just being on for a half hour for no reason. Your laptop just knew. Oh boy, I have a feeling this is not going to be a good descent here. Nice, perfect, actually. Couldn't have worked out much better. Yeah, so there is a possibility, Mateo, that, that that upgrade was for one truck, but it also could be up for like two, three, four, like 
I don't have any idea if it is for one or multiple, but there are a lot of upgrades that are for one truck. And it's kind of cool, like, oh cool, you have to go hunt this one upgrade. You can hunt all the upgrades for this specific truck, but when there's like 205 upgrades, that is just too much for me. I thought about making videos on like how to get all the different upgrades for this game, but after looking at the just the number, I'm like, no. You literally have to replay the entire game because I still don't have all the other, all the upgrades. So there's there's no way I'd be making that. I could probably make some on certain certain upgrades, like oh hey, if you want the, you know, I don't know the off road gearbox for the Tatra Forest, the biggest truck. Here's where you find it, stuff like that. But for the most part, it's just there's no point. There's just way too many. Does anyone know what mod I recommend for SnowRunner? Let's see it, Bryce. Orange, what came first, orange or orange? Same, just feels like overkill, upgrade spreading. On upgrade spreading, yeah. Neither an orange did. Ooh. I just got a Kenworth, two Zix, a Cat 745C in a bog. I'm guessing that's a modded map, maybe. Artem, actually, orange came first, then Mandarin orange. About to go scout with the new Adam, nice. Ouch. Of course, the OSHA inspector's not here when I did my one very safe descent down the mountainside. An old Ford Bronco would be cool to have in this game. I agree. I mean, I'd even take the new Ford Bronco. I think the Ford Broncos are cool looking trucks. But certainly, the old Ford Bronco would be a really cool addition. We rolled it, boys. Oh, I just realized. I can't have an autonomous winch on this one either. So I'm just going to be floating down river. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's a rip. I'll have to go do that one again. Unless I can drive a truck out there quick and pick it up, but the plan was to go to this one, wherever it is in this zone, pick that up from a truck right here, drive over here, and drop it off. I think here's where it's got to go, something like that. And then use this truck to pick up this other one right in here and drop them off. And then I'd be done with it, but... Yeah, we're, we're floating downstream, and I, my thought was just, oh, use an autonomous winch attached to the... Uh, throw out an anchor point and attach to that, but obviously I don't have an autonomous winch, so we're just done. Yikes. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Yeah. Agreed, my dude, playing the new Bronco in Forza Horizon 5 made me crave for it in SnowRunner. Well, I guess let's see if we can find something real quick to do. I don't feel like doing a long one. If we can find something that's like, visit a bunch of places or something, maybe. Wait, wasn't there... Visit three areas. Or four areas. That wouldn't be bad, but we don't have any trucks over there. Take a photo? We could do this one. That one looks pretty easy. Alright, let's recover a different truck. Let's 
do the warthog. What is a ford? Uh, apparently it's like a military word for a, a river crossing. I never knew that, but that's what I've been told. And a fjord is a type of river feature. Yeah, because I thought they meant fjord. Apparently they're two separate things, uh, Kevin. I think us over here in the Americas have just never heard of it called a Ford before. But it's uh, it's more of a European thing, I guess. It's a car for India. Okay, we do have a couple. I, w I roll with the fours, Artem, but yeah, it's it's totally up to you. Oh, nailed it. OSHA inspector would love that one. Talk about a perfect landing. Uh, hi, JJ. Throw back to our log discussion, or long discussion, sorry, about fjording a river and driving a Ford. Yeah, that was a couple weeks back. Uh, he is from Ontario, Canada. Well, you learn something new every stream, pun intended. <laughs> is OSHA Inspector a viewer? Uh, yeah, it's Isaiah. He says I always say his name wrong, so I don't... It's his, na his name, or the way he spells it is Raul uh, Velez or Veliz or something. I don't, apparently I say both his first and last name wrong, so I don't even say that. Um, I just call him Isaiah, which is what he said his, his name is, so... 10 out of 10 for the landing. Thanks, Ian. But no, he, he's just joking that I always drive very unsafely. And so he said he's going to start giving me, like, uh ratings for my driving basically if i perform anything unsafe like a, you know just even crashing popping a tire anything like that i get deducted points and he was in here earlier but it's funny because i did a, a really nice descend down that one mountain and i was like oh where's the ocean inspector now and he was gone so but yeah it's just kind of a, an ongoing like joke i guess you could say just sort of messing around. We have Fords in Ontario, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, there we go. Me wondering if he means the car or river feature. Uh, I think he means a car, because if you ask anybody from the Americas, do you guys not have Fords, we immediately assume the Ford car. I've never heard of it called a Ford before expeditions, and actually I, I kept thinking they meant Fjord, so... I would never in a hundred, hundred years, hundred million years have thought you meant something different. Ooh, we got a T-Rex sticker. What is that, a million out of ten? Landing? Alright. If this doesn't work, we're gonna rage quit. Because it's it's a uh, 503. I don't feel like driving all the way around. So if we cannot climb up here, I'm done. Actually, let's see if we can get closer. Oh, it's not going to give it to us? It's saying that it's too far away.
Really? Not even like in that little crack? Wow. That's another thing I don't like. It has this big zone that you can put it anywhere in the zone, right? Yeah, except for that whole top part that's green. That doesn't that doesn't work. That's too too far. You can put it anywhere in the bottom part in the green. That's fine. I guess not not the very edge, but pretty close to it, right? Well, I think it's just I don't know. Yeah, you can't put it anywhere in the top part of the green up there for some reason. So Lame. I think Ford, Ford is a flooded crossing. Okay. Yeah, I think that's some. I think that's what somebody said. I don't remember what the uh, definition was. Somebody looked it up. No, it's not a roadway crossing, it's a shallow river slash stream you can drive slash walk through. Alright, here we go. Oh no! I was gonna try and put out the anchor point so I could turn my truck and get it better, but it, it flipped us over just in time. I looked it up, apparently Ford is a brand of car, did you know that? <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny if you only knew it was like some kind of a river crossing. Yeah, apparently they're a vehicle maker, didn't know that. Take a photo of the view. Oh nice, that was the one. Okay, that was easy enough. Oh, the OSHA inspector's back, guys. Uh, that's so annoying. Um, oh, like the river in Northport, Alaska. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good example. Planes also 100 years ago. I was watching a Twitch stream earlier. I had seven ads. Anyone? Or if anyone would know that, it would be me. I've heard of the Mercury and Lincoln, but a Ford? Yeah, made, made by the same people at the same place, pretty much. I drove through the fuel station, but didn't refuel because I'm on the Atom. Nice. 112, actually. When you take damage, the noise is so loud, I would suggest to them to make variations of based on the number. Okay. Variations of noise. Twitch ads can be very frustrating. Alright, what are we at? 90 and 95 percent okay let's return to headquarters we got twenty thousand for that not great we spent a lot of time there but we did get a seismic one done the seismic are the worst ones okay let's go load game it says we're 80 percent done with total completion i still feel like that's too low we're 90 and 95 and a hundred percent all three of our different locations are over 90%, so I don't under understand how that makes any sense, but, uh, whatever. Okay. Alright. That is gonna be the end of the stream, guys. Um, if we're lucky, tomorrow we'll be streaming Season 13 on SnowRunner PTS, public test server. So, 
you know, maybe tomorrow. If not, I'm not sure what we'll be doing. We might just do some more expeditions, try and get it complete. We're getting close, we're 80%, but we still got a little bit of work to do. But I appreciate everybody stopping in, so thanks everybody for watching. Uh, Mandarin Orange, Mateo, Parkinson's, uh, Zeb, Raul, or Isaiah, because I always say it wrong, Jaren, Bryce, many, many others. Tank Baby, I know you're here. Nathan was here for a bit. Um, Ian, I'm, again, I'm sure I'm probably missing some people here. I'm just scrolling up to the chat, but South Fang. Anybody else who's uh, lurking around? Robert, thank you. You're here pretty much the entire time as well. Okay, 70. 70 is the, the end rating. Okay, I'll take it. Yep, have a good night, everybody. Love this stream. Have a good night. Hit the like button. Thank you. Thanks for the great stream. Thanks for the chat. Have a good evening. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good rest of your night, and hopefully see you all tomorrow in Season 13 PTS if we are lucky.